Today, I'll show you how to do your crypto taxes if you have local Bitcoins. Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another video. Today, we're discussing how to do your crypto taxes with the help of Coinly if you have a local Bitcoins account, if you've done some trades on there. So the breakdown of this video is pretty straightforward. I'm going to tell you about the exchange itself. This one's a very unique one, so I'm kind of excited to talk about it. And then I'm going to jump into the integration with Coinly, which is really straightforward for this video. And then I'm going to show you how to download the necessary tax documentation. And lastly, I'll leave you with some resources where you can, you know, send us questions, talk to our community and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So Local Bitcoins was founded in 2012 and is based out of Helsinki, Finland. Um, Local Bitcoins connects buyers and sellers on a peer to peer basis, allowing you to buy um, Bitcoins almost completely anonymously. The process is pretty straightforward too. You can contact a seller, uh, agree on a price, lock your money in an escrow. This, that's the key step here in an escrow account while you wait uh, for the Bitcoin transaction to finalize. And that's it. The downside, the obvious downside here is, you know, there can be scammers on the platform. So always make sure to check the reviews of the people that you're um, you know, doing business with and always use the escrow system. So very interesting exchange, uh, very unique, very different to what I've covered uh, in the past. Okay, so first step as always, log into Coinly, head over to the wallet section, um, click add wallet. Let's type in local um, and there's local Bitcoins. And now here I'll say that the setup auto sync is recommended. Maybe this will actually be different by the time this video is uploaded, but actually it is not recommended. Do not use the setup auto sync, use the import from file method. So click here and then we're going to go into um, local bitcoins in the top right corner. We're going to click on settings. Then from there, we're going to click on security. And here we're going to scroll down into personal data, export your personal data in CSV files. We're going to click view. And originally, you're only going to have this option, collect personal data. You're going to click it and then it's going to take a few seconds and you're going to have this download personal data and that's going to be a zip file. And here we're actually going to get a few different files. We're only interested in two. We're interested in contacts and transaction history. So let's take those files and drag and drop them into Coinly one at a time. So I've put um, contacts in first and then I'm going to put transaction history. And then we're going to go back into our wallet section. As you can see, the transactions have been uh, imported and you can see that we're dealing with obviously bitcoins. From there, you can head over to the tax reports area where you'll get a nice summary of your capital gains, your income, your costs and expenses. It's a fantastic area to kind of keep track of your crypto activity, um, just so you know kind of where you're going to end up towards the end of the year. Um, and then at the very bottom, you're going to select a tax plan that is appropriate for your needs. And we have various tax reports. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also export TurboTax online and desktop versions. We have reports for the UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia. And then lastly, for Canada, Germany, and other countries, we have the complete tax report. And this is a document you can give to your accountant and they can combine it with your other tax documentation to submit. Or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their account the firm here. We're gonna get more content on that in the near future. Um, but yeah, the last thing I always say is check your country's uh, regulations because this tax plan, this report that you get might actually be deductible. So make sure to look into that. And that brings us to the conclusion of this video. I'm going to leave some links down below if you're interested. The first one's going to be Coinly Help Center where we have countless articles on crypto tax uh, related topics. So you can learn more about that. We have a forum section where you can um, you know, talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, we have a contact section where you can send us a message or an email and we'd be happy to get back to you. But if you found this video helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.